Good morning everybody, this is Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations and welcome to my mess. Um, we've been back down here for a while and I have an idea that I would like to rearrange this space to make it more functional for my new ideas of getting back into sewing and keep my art going. So today I'm going to spend the day rearranging this to make me kind of a, a uh, craft and sewing you along the windows and then there'll only be one walkway through here and I will be confined within the U so the fellas can come and go as they please and they won't have to walk either side of my creative space. So that's my plan. Need to charge the battery up on this camera while I'm working and I'll come back in a little bit with a progress report. All right, I'm back. I've made a little bit of progress. I've got, I still have all this stuff to go through on the floor. And I've got a plan for my, my art books. I'm going to put them on this back side. My problem's coming with this stand right here. Um, it would actually fit up under there, but I'll lose my pen storage. But I'm thinking put pens on the end of my cutting. Um, board because that's where I'll stand to craft with you guys as well and once I get this all clear my dress form will get tucked in somewhere I don't know where but um, let's walk over here my portable vacuum it ran out of juice so I had to plug it back in so I figured this would be a good time to do an update that's the drapes I made a while ago still have to make the ones for the dining room but I even have a cubby there that I can put my heat gun stand in there and um, store my heat gun back in out of the way and then I can just plug it in plug it in and I can use it with y'all and y'all be able to see when I'm drying something I still have to go through back through this stuff because you know every time you redo your room you have to reorganize everything or at least that's I, or tidy it back up put everything back to exactly where it goes so I'm really liking how this looks and it's a U on the floor so I can sew over here or art over here and the cutting table will be a multi-purpose thing because you know I'm gonna be sewing again what I might actually do is just put my cutting um, my Fisker's big cutter on the end over there because I can't put a lot of weight over there anyway and I'll put the pens there that will make more sense anyway so y'all are helping me think too y'all didn't know you helped me think sometimes but I got everything is just ooh, I'm so excited anyway uh, that's our little update I'll check back when I'm done all right this is a dinner break time kind of update and Scott's just getting home, so we'll get his first reaction. But I've changed the lineup over here on this wall, and I've got my cart pushed in next to the desk where Scott sits, so I can pull it out when we do dirty dozens or pick tens or whatever, and then I can put it back in there. Um, I changed and took the stuff that was on top of the two drawer file cabinet that's just got like home deck, men's patterns, and costume patterns in it, and I've created another tower to take care of all my smaller bins so everything's in line so I can use it more. Um, those are old scrapbook albums and I got my die cutting stuff. It's kind of um, put in there Jenga wise so I'll have to be careful when I pull it out but I still have to deal with all of that on the floor. There's Scott! Home from work. He's, he's whistling. And I still got to clean the dining room table off. Don't judge. I'm getting there. So, here we go. Here's that. What do you think? I'm impressed. Awesome. Happy hell, neighborinos. <laughs> so, I'm going to let you guys go. We'll have dinner. And after, well, we're not going to have dinner for a while. And I'm going to sort through this stuff and see if I can get it in line. But I'll come back with another update and work on some more. 
Okay, it's the next morning, and I've got my cart there, and then you come around, and I've got supplies over here. Uh, ignore the dining room table. It's coming, but the pile is a lot smaller now. I've got some things on my table, but I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. The sewing chair next to the sewing machine has got fabric in it that I'm going to, that's going to be my first goal, is to sew through what's in that chair. So I've got that going on. This is my setup for filming, and I'll be going live at 11 um, today. So there's, I got my umbrella light. Might have to do some adjusting on it so I don't get so many shadows. Of course, there's the tippy installation. He's never too far from me, so I gave him a mat of his own right here in the middle of all of it. And I'll come back over here by the entrance. Um, the picture there is the one that Hannah made for me, and that's our inchy swap we did a couple years ago now. And the threads that I'm going to use at the sewing machine, right there. So, this is now my creative space, and it feels so much more open. It feels like I have so much space to create now, and that means a lot to me. Um, then, and Scott can be in here with me. We still don't have his computer with the two monitors set up, but he's ordered a table. Um, I don't know where we're going to put it, but he's ordered one. He's got, he's got a plan, I think. So, there we go. Thanks for joining me on this adventure, and uh, I'll share it again in the future. Yes, Howard? Do you want to be in this video? Huh? Where are you going? Hey, I thought you wanted to be in the video. Must be not. Well, here it is another day, and I'm still working on my mess. I'll show you over there on the floor. That's the pile and table I still have left to do. The pile is much smaller, but I find myself on a rabbit trail of organizing die cuts and punched out stuff. So I'm sorting everything by what it is. Um, I'm putting things in individual little bags so I don't have to go through everything within the, the little bins. This one I haven't done yet. So I just dump it out. This looks like it has hearts in it. And I've already got hearts in a box. But see, I'm labeling them. So um, these are flowers that are ready to use. These are ones I've already worked on and turned into layered flowers. Um, stamens and flat flowers, which means they're just die cuts of flowers that don't have to be worked into a uh, shaped flower. And then these are punched flowers that I need to turn into these flowers. These were all made with punched and die cut flower cutouts. So that's that. Uh, swirls, leaves, mushrooms and flourishes, uh, clouds, wreaths and trees, butterflies, bugs and fairies, and then other critters, which is cats, deer, birds, anything I have. Um, winter and winter holidays like Christmas, Halloween, that kind of stuff. Um, this one's all ovals and circles and hearts. So I might have to put these hearts in a box of themselves because I have so many. But there's still a good bit of room in there. You can squish die cuts down pretty tight. Um, these are mats that you would just put down and build up on top of. And frames and borders. So that is why, and I still got to go through those bins down there. That is why there is no video up yet on this. But it will be coming later today. Right now I need to take a break and run and buy some cat litter. So hold tight. Video's coming. By now you know it is because you're watching this. It is now Sunday morning and things are progressing. The floor is nearly clear. And I'm starting work on the table. And so we'll come back this afternoon and hopefully this will be done.
Okay, the craft room slash dining room front room area of the house is now as tidy as it's going to get. And uh, now all I've got is things that are actually projects out. I've got my crochet on the end. I finished the box for my sister-in-law. I got curtains for that. Those windows are draped over there. Ignore Scott's coat. And uh, then this is my, my craft space. And I think it's gonna work out really good. And Bernadette's got spot on the floor. Just going around the room. And there we go. Thank you all for watching. And leave some comments if you'd like. And I will see you guys in the next video.